So you clicked on this video because you want to learn how to drive a 13 speed manual semi truck. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. We're going to get straight into it because no one wants a long video. There's multiple ways you can learn how to drive a semi truck. But one of the ways that I'm going to show you guys today is by floating your gears. And if you don't know what floating your gears is, it's pretty much you're not going to use your clutch at all whatsoever. No clutch is needed other than when you're going to take off and when you get to a stop. So in other words, this pedal right here is pretty much useless other than those two times. Your gas is going to be your main best friend right here. Sorry for interrupting the video guys, but this portion of the video is sponsored by Upside. In case you have no idea what Upside is, Upside is a cashback app and it's free that lets you get cashback on your grocery store visits, your gas station visits, and even when you go out to restaurants. This is a cool and free way to make some cash back on your free time. Literally no people who use this. My mother-in-law uses this exact app. All you got to do is take a picture of the receipt, upload it to your upside app and then instantly get cash back within four to 24 hours and one of the coolest part is that once you get that cash back on your app you can instantly transfer it to your bank account paypal or you can even send it as a gift card and all you need to do to get started is go to the app store or the google play store and download the free upside app and use my promo code alex nino to get five dollars or more on your first purchase of ten dollars or more there is literally upside users that are earning millions of dollars doing this and it's completely free guys all you got to do is sign up so don't forget to hit the link in my description and sign up for the upside app today because it's free and why not get cash back while you're just chilling at home favorite part about upside is using it when i go to like restaurants and stuff because as you guys know i'm a truck driver so i'm always on the road and i want to be able to get some cash back every once in a while so whenever i go out to restaurants and stuff like that if there's any available locations that are partnered with upside then I'll, I'll use it and get some cash back. Thank you Upside for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now let's get back to the trucking block. So on the 13 speed transmission, you obviously got 13 gears. You got the highs and the lows. And then you got two switches on the side. You got that, got these red buttons right here. I'm gonna demonstrate for you guys the shift. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure to have the needle down obviously, cause you're gonna be in your low gears. Then you're gonna go to first would be right there. Second would be down here. Then you're going to go to third, fourth. This is when you pick your needle up. That is for fifth gear. That would be fifth high. Drop the needle back down. Sixth, put the needle back up. Six high, put the needle back down. Seventh, put the needle back up seven high and so forth now to downshift you don't really have to worry about this so say you're in uh just say six high and you're gonna you need a downshift you would just pretty much just take it off i like to give it a little bit of gas it downshifts it and then after that you don't got to worry about this at all just downshift like that bam 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 just like that you can if you want this just makes it a lot harder just sticking to the needle when you're downshifting makes it a lot easier. Now let's actually get onto the road and demonstrate to you guys how this really works in the real world. All right guys, so remember how I said that the only time you're gonna use the clutch in a semi truck is when you are at a complete stop and you're gonna put it in gear. So right now we're at a complete stop, obviously. We're gonna put it in reverse. Reverse would be this to the left, up. So we're gonna put the clutch in, engage it, that's in reverse. Let off the clutch slowly, and once you feel it grab and start moving, it's when you start giving it a little bit of gas. You don't really have to give it too much gas. Foot off the clutch, and now give it the gas. Now let's get out of here, and let's go to the road. So this, clutch in, first. Now you're in first. Do not let go of the clutch fast, guys or else you're gonna stall the truck. And I don't wanna stall the truck right now because I don't like the feeling of stalling the truck. But let go of the clutch slow. You'll feel like grab and kind of start creeping. That's when you start giving it a little bit of gas. It's just like driving a car. It's just an 18 wheeler and a, you have a long 53 foot trailer. So I usually like to shift at about 1500, 1600, maybe even 1400 RPM. It just depends too if I'm full or if I'm empty rainy out here today but okay so once I get to around 1600 rpm 
is when I was shifting. I have the RPMs right there, you guys can see it. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna let, you're gonna tug on the shift knob and start slowly letting go of the gas and you'll feel it you throw into neutral and that's when you give it a little bit more gas and throw it into the gear. Okay, so we're gonna get to 1600 RPM, tug on it, let go of the gas, second. Same thing for third, tug on it, third. Fourth. Now this is when you pick your needle up to go up to fifth. Needle up. Back to the same position as you started, first gear. Now this is the difference between a 10 speed and a 13 speed. Now you're gonna be in fifth high. So all you're gonna do is press this, let go of the gas, give it gas again, and that's all you gotta do. Now let's get a little bit of freeway action. So right now we're in Second gear, and get to 1600 RPM. Third gear, fourth gear, needle up. Fifth gear, red needle up, would be for fifth high. Needle down, six low, needle up, red, six high. Bam. Okay, so now we're getting to the final gear, almost final gear. This is gonna be 12th right here. Oops, oops. So typically, I only keep it in this gear right here this would be 12th I guess you can say um, I keep it right here if I'm ever going 60 miles per hour and I and this goes from down to up the red button it's because I'm gonna pass a truck up I'm never drive in the last gear because you're just gonna go super fast you're gonna get yourself a ticket you don't really need it but yeah guys that's how you drive a semi a 13 speed semi truck I don't know if that was confusing I don't know if that was a good video but if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys learned something please hit the like button comment down below and subscribe let's grow this channel let's see if we can get to 1 million by the end of the year i'm gonna get a couple more uh clips in of me shifting i'm gonna put the gopro in my mouth and that way you guys can see a little bit up closer and everything